Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob, the stress and pain relief doctor, coming to you today from the beautiful uh, city of Barcelona, Spain. I want to point out to you the cable car, which is directly in front. Apparently, that was built in either 1888 or 1939 for uh, uh, one of the two World Fairs that took place here in Barcelona. And so today I want to talk to you about the power of rest. Most people are familiar with the fact that they need sleep and relaxation, but many people are not aware that we as human beings, as mammals, we also need rest. And so when you're resting, you're not doing anything. And so we live in a world where pe many people think you always have to be doing something. And so that is contrary to healthy well-being. All the studies show that that people need a period of rest. One of the things that I've been amazed about on the cruise ship is that the, the cruise ship workers work 12 hours a day, um, uh, uh, seven days a week. And um, although I had been on many cruises, I didn't know they worked seven days a week. And when I pointed out to them that even in the Bible, it says, you know, there's a day of rest. And so I'm not trying to get in the business of the cruise ship industry, but I just think that it's, it's, it's not fair to work somebody, you know, uh, seven days a week. You know, that's my personal opinion. And, and so, um, especially when you think about how much money the management makes, you know, what does the CEO of a cruise line make? What are the shareholders, the big shareholders of the cruise lines? What, what, what kind of profits are they taking in? So yes, the cruise lines, they had, um, issues, uh, where during the pandemic they were shut down, they had to deal with COVID. But I just don't think that people working for six to nine months straight, seven days a week, 12 hours a day, I don't think that's a good idea. I think, in fact, I think performance and um, uh, uh, worker satisfaction would, would increase if people had a day off. I know on, on several cruise lines, I've talked to crew, and um, uh, often, uh, even when they have an opportunity to get off the ship, they don't because they're exhausted and they said, oh, I'm going to sleep. And, and that's a good thing. So the point of this talk is to just reinforce the idea that besides sleep, we need rest. And so if you look in the wild, lions, one of the largest predators, they spend 40% of their waking time just resting. And so, of course, that's in the wild. But what I'm suggesting to you is that this thing of being on all the time is uh, deleterious to your healthy well-being. And if you think about it, you look at the statistics now, you know, um, many women have advanced in their careers, but now they've caught up to men in some, uh, some ugly categories. More women 40 and under are having heart attacks, strokes, aneurysms, high blood pressure, high levels of anxiety, sleep deprivation, depression. And so, and it doesn't stop there. Look at what's happening with our teenagers. You know, and in many states, uh, suicide is now the number one cause of death for uh, people between the ages of 10 and 24 years old. So something is wrong in our society. So many people don't want to talk about it, but I'm talking about it because it needs to be corrected for people to have a chance to improve the quality of their life, to have a chance that longevity. Look, many of us lost loved ones and friends. In my particular case, you know, I reflected uh, er, uh, late last year, and I was thinking that since 2009, I have lost over 80 family and friends, and two people committed suicide. And so that has changed my view 
or made me more reflective and sensitive to that there needs to be a change. And so there are some people out there, some uh, famous psychologists and neuroscientists telling people that um, more stress is good for you. So I challenge them, prove to me a mother that's working two jobs, going to school at night and trying to juggle her kids' homework that she needs more stress. Or a person that has two jobs and they're driving 50 miles between two jobs just so that they can pay their rent, that they need more stress already stuck in traffic, paying tolls, parking tickets, etc. So I think it's utter nonsense. So it's not that in the right situation, um, um, a little additional stress can boost your performance, but we're talking about constant stress, chronic stress, which leads to debilitating uh, conditions. And so what I want you to consider is that you need to figure out a way to put more rest in your life. However you do it, take a look at your schedule. So you need sleep, rest, and relaxation, and of course, more fun. And of course, we all need more money, right? And so so the thing is, those things are not mutually exclusive. So this is Dr. Bob signing off from uh, Barcelona, wishing you well, and hoping that you're able to get the stress, the, the, the rest that you deserve and your body needs, and your body and mind will thank you. Until next time, from stressfreenow.info, be safe and be well.